the transient response specifications for a control system. So let's see here the problem. So in the question, we are given the block diagram of a system and we have to find out the transient response specifications or the, we have to calculate the time response analysis of this system. So first, let's find out the characteristic equation of this system. Okay, we are given the GS that is the forward path transfer function or we can say the open loop transfer function this is GS and this is the feedback system feedback path transfer function or feedback path gain so it is HS. So characteristic equation we know that it is given by One plus GS HS equals to zero. Okay, substitute the value of GS here and HS, so we will get the characteristic equation. We have one plus GS is what? Twenty into one point two. And HS we have S by 6. So it is equals to 0. We have substituted GS and HS in this equation. So if we solve it, we will have this as 10 here. This is 6 to 12. We have this. So we will have 4 here and this S and S they will be cancelled. So we will have 1 plus. 4 that is 2 into 2 4 upon s plus 1 and 0 0.2 s plus 1 equals to 0. Solve it we will have We are having 1.2 here is plus 1 plus 4 equals to 0. So we will get the characteristic equation as s square plus 6s plus 25. Now if we compare this equation with the standard equation that is 2 del omega n is plus omega n square equals to 0. So by comparing these two equations we will get the value of this coefficient of s as 6 and omega n square equals to 25. So we have 2 del omega n equals to 6 and omega n square equals to 25. Taking root on both the sides so omega n will be equals to 5. Substitute the value of omega n in this equation so 2 del into 5 equals to 6 so del will be equals to 
we have got the value of omega n which is the natural frequency and also we have got the value of del which is the damping ratio okay now we have to calculate the damping frequency that is omega d And this omega d is given by omega n under root of 1 minus del square. Omega n we know, del we know, so it will be easy for us to calculate the damping frequency. So omega d will be equals to 5, 1 minus 0 0.6 whole square. So damping frequency is equals to omega d equal to 4 radians per second. We have calculated it omega d and damping factor we have known that it is damping ratio is 0 0.6. Now we calculate the damping factor. Damping factor is given by del omega n. Del is the damping ratio, N is the natural frequency, substitutes its value. Del is what? 0 0.6, omega N is 5, so damping factor is 3. See? Now next, transient response specification is maximum overshoot. And maximum overshoot means percentage MP and it is given by e raised to the power minus del pi upon under root of 1 minus del square into 100. Substitute the value of del here, we will get the maximum overshoot as percentage MP e raised to the power minus del is what 0 0.6 into 3.14 divided by 1 minus del square that is 0 0.6 whole square into 100 so percentage mp that is maximum overshoot it will be 100 and multiply it with 100 so this maximum overshoot will come out to be 9.48 percent okay so these uh, we have calculated some next transient response specification is first undershoot And first undershoot, the formula for this is e raised to the power minus 2 pi del upon under root of 1 minus del okay. Substitute its value in this formula 2 pi and we have del as 0 0.6 and 1 minus 0 0.6 whole square. Value will come out to be e raised to the power minus substitute pi as 3.14. So we will have here 3.768, and this under root will be value of this is 0 0.8. So it will be equal to 0.8. So this is the value of first under root. Now next specification is peak time. Peak time is the time interval after the 
means starting from zero and the first peak whenever the first peak of the response is obtained so that time period is called the peak time and peak time is given by pi upon omega d omega d is omega n under root of 1 minus del square so substituting the values of all the variables here omega n was pi and under root of 1 minus 0.6 pi is what 3.14 and here 5 into 0.8 so time period uh, this peak time will be 3.14 upon 4 0.785 seconds this was peak time now we have to calculate the next specification that is settling time we have to calculate here the settling time. If it is not given in the question, then just calculate it for the 2% tolerance band. And for that, the formula for settling time for 2% tolerance band is given by 4 by del omega n. If it is not given in the question, that for which band you have to calculate, take it in general for 2% tolerance band. Otherwise, you can also calculate for 5% and 3%. So, we have here calculating for 2% tolerance band. Substitute the value of del and omega n. Del is what? 0 0.6 and omega n is 5. So, this is 4 by 3. So, this is 1.33 seconds. So, settling time for 2% tolerance band is 1.33 seconds. Next specification is number of cycles. Number of cycles is denoted by N and its formula is 2 under root of 1 minus del square upon pi del. Put all values of all the variables 2 under root of 1 minus del is what? 0 0.6 whole square upon pi is what 3.14 and del is what 0 0.6. Here we will have 2 into 0 0.8, the value of this under root upon 3.14 into 0 0.6. So it will be 1.6 upon 1.884. So the number of cycles it comes out to be 0 0.85. So in this problem, we have calculated all the transient response specifications for the system which is given to us. Whenever you have to find out the transient response specifications, first start with finding out the characteristic equation. From the characteristic equation, you will be able to get the value of del, that is the adaptive ratio, and omega n, that is the natural frequency. After obtaining del and omega n, put the values of these variables in the formulas for all the transient response specifications so that you will be able to find out the complete time response of that system. Okay? I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.